We are still running this race, God. Yes, some of us might be tired. Yes, some of us may feel like giving up. Yes, some of us may feel a little discouraged. But you know what, God? I am still in the race. God, continue to count me. As you are counting me, count my husband. As you are counting me, count my children. As you are counting me, count my church. As you are counting me, count my employees. As you are counting me, count my neighbors. God, we are still in this race, God. And I'm not in this race alone, God. I'm in this race with everybody else, God. This is why I'm here to remind them, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. It ain't over until Jesus says it's over. It's not finished until Jesus says it's finished. God says, even in your sickness, continue to run. Because in your sickness, I have made you healed. Even in your weakness, continue running. Because in your weakness, I have given you the strength. Run in such a way as to get the prize. I'll read it again. The Bible says, Do you not know that in a race all runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as if you are winning the prize. Church, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. God is faithful. Hallelujah. So as, I, as I was preparing for this word, um, I was still a bit emotional from all the funerals that we went to from Friday and Saturday and, and, and. And so it was dropped in my spirit that all of us are in a race. And I realized that even as we were sending them to their final resting place, that they had come to the end of their race. They had come to the end of their journey here on earth. They had come to an end of even pursuing some of the dreams that you want to pursue like Habeni. So that means that your work, your journey, your life, your purpose, everything that you had desired for your life or for anything here on earth, it's done. The race is done. And I was like, Lord, if there's a word that I can tell to the church today is that don't stop running the race because you are not done yet. Don't stop running this great race. Keep running. But the difference is that don't run out of purpose. Don't run out of Jesus. Because when you get to a destination, it means it's determined by the type of race that you were running. Your final destination. Where are you in your relationship? Some people are running because everyone else is 
running. Some people are running because they found Jesus. Some people are running because they don't know Jesus. But the final destination matters when you are running with Jesus. And so I want to tell you, don't stop running. Your dreams are valid. Don't stop running. Your family is important. Don't stop running. Your work is important. Don't stop running. The things you want to pursue in your life, don't procrastinate. Run. Do it. The things that you are dreaming about, do them. The things you want to build, build it. The things you want to start, start it. You see, the thing about a final race, it doesn't matter how old you are. When God says your journey is done, it's done. On the Friday, it was a young man. On the Saturday, it was an old lady. And I was like, God, this is the only race where your age doesn't matter. Your income doesn't matter. Your status of life doesn't matter. Your LSM doesn't matter. Your career doesn't matter. Nothing matters when it comes to that. You can't buy life because of the amount of money that you have. When your race is done, it's done. You can't go and, and say, God, I want to I wanna negotiate. You see, God, I know you have given me 30 years of my life, but God, maybe if I give this much, you will add. Uh, no, 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 no. The, the end of the race for everyone, God has said that. And those are secret things of God. So we don't know it. So why are children of God not running? Come on, you got to wake up like, like you are running a race. You got to be intentional even as you are doing your work. You got to work like you are running a race. You have to give like you are running a race. You have to pray like you are running a race. You, you have to give everything your 100%. Like if this is the last thing that you do, Sister Monica, you better do it well. You better do it like there's a price. And the Bible says you need to run the race as if there's only one prize. So God, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. God, if I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray right. God, if I'm going to worship, I'm going to worship right. God, if I'm going to give, I'm going to give right. God, if I'm going to be in your presence, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to be present with my mind, my soul, my spirit. And God, I'm going to give you my praise like it's my last praise. And I'm going to shout out your name, God. And if I have to preach the name of Jesus, even if it's the last thing that I do, God, by the blood of Jesus my DNA is different because I'm a child of God so run your race so that we can celebrate you in your final mark come on somebody you want your life to be celebrated we don't want to cry but we want to celebrate because you gave it so much work you gave it so much like everything you did was just so great that you gave choice but to celebrate your life because we say this person read their race they walked the walk they did the work they we need to celebrate we need to celebrate and God today as we take the holy communion I pray that your purpose may be unlocked here on earth I pray that whatever it is that you may be able to access the keys of your destiny that you may be able to step into your tomorrow that you may be able to enter into the doors that God has prepared for you may you never die before you have entered the greatness of your life may you live your life in its fullness as we take the Holy Communion we are recertifying ourselves and we are recommitting ourselves to Jesus. Amen. And we are saying, Lord, we are yours. We are yours. We are yours. We are still in this race, God. We are still running this race, God. Yes, some of us might be tired. Yes, some of us may feel like giving up. Yes, some of us may feel a little discouraged. But you know what, God, I am still in the race. God, continue to count me. As you are counting me, count my husband. As you are counting me, count my children. As you are counting me, count my church. As you are counting me, count my employees. As you are counting me, count my neighbors. God, we are still in this race, God. And I'm not in this race alone, God. I'm in this race with everybody else, God. This is why I'm here to remind them, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. It ain't over until Jesus says it's 
over. It's not finished until Jesus says it's finished. God says, even in your sickness, continue to run. Because in your sickness, I have made you healed. Even in your weakness, continue running. Because in your weakness, I have given you the strength. In this race, some people will go further. And some people will look like they're running behind. Yeah. But I hear the Lord says, I'm going to give you a new anointing. Amen. A fresh anointing Amen. for you to pick yourself back up again. I'm here to remind you through the blood of Jesus, through the body of Jesus, to pick up what you need to pick up and continue the race. Hallelujah. We have made our choice. We have chosen Jesus. Amen. We have made up our minds. We have chosen Jesus. It's a choice, and we made that choice. Now as we take the blood and the body of Christ, I'm saying, God, in you and through you will finish the race. Let's take the body and the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your body, and thank you for your blood. Thank you for dying on that cross for us, God. Thank you for rising again. Thank you that you were raised, God. And that through your body that was bruised for our iniquities, God, we know that we have found life in you, God. Every single person who is in this place, God, I speak a covering upon their lives that they may finish their race. Your life is that of a celebration. Your life is that of, that is victorious. You will be victorious in everything that you do. You will succeed in anything that you do. In the name of Jesus, I speak a blessing upon you right now in the name of Jesus. That God, if things need to be turned around, let it be turned around this week. If things need to change, let it change this week. If things need to be rewritten, let it be written this week, God. These ones are your children. These ones is your DNA. These ones are children of God. And therefore, God, I speak an acceleration, God, with the race of righteousness. That they may continue to rise, God, in the name of Jesus. You will claim your crown. You will wear your crown. You will wear your crown. You will finish your race. 